Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of my 12 Let's Play series. And you guys just keep, seem to keep finding me whenever I'm in hide mode, don't you? As you can see in World Chat again, I was I was noticed again. So, well, there you go. <laughs> like I said, if you ever guys, if anyone ever notices me when I'm in hide mode, if I'm not in hide mode, then uh, obviously it's pretty easy to find me in the world. But when people notice me when I'm not in hide mode, I like to uh, you know give them a little give them a little credits for finding me because they know who I am, you know, without stalking me, I guess you could say. I don't know what you would say, because there's no way they can know I'm online right now, um, so they just notice me out in the world. So, yeah. There you guys go. Uh, I am on the boom range right now. As you can see, he's level 24. I am almost done with all of my classes being level 25. Also, by the way, I think the thumbnail for this video is going to be not the desert biome. <laughs> Um, honestly, I need to start doing better, uh, I need to start doing better thumbnails, but, sorry, there was a bug in my hand, um, but I'm just bad with graphic design, to be honest, like, I, I'm just suck at making thumbnails, so, uh, the thumbnail for this video probably makes no sense to the video itself, because it's probably gonna be in, like, the Undead Bomb or something, because I took it earlier, um, but I didn't start recording yet, I don't know why, I just didn't, <laughs> But I still made the thumbnail, so, um, might as well just use it, so I didn't waste my time. But, yes, I am almost level 25 with all my characters. I have my Boomeranger level 24. I have my Fey 24 and a half, almost 25, actually. It's like 24 and 75% or something like that. Um, and then just a Neon Ninja, he's like level 21 or something. Which I'm working on them, uh, little by little. I don't have much time to record during the weekdays, and then last weekend I was very, very busy, as I said in the last, uh, Let's Play video. So, uh, I am, I'm doing the best I can, I'm doing it as fast as I can, uh, and the most efficient way that I can. But, that is why it has taken an extra week. They were supposed to be level 25 last Saturday, <laughs> but that was a very, very, very big day for me. Uh, so I couldn't be on Trove. Um, so yeah, that's why we're catching up right now, and I do kind of want to... I've, I've been playing the Boom Ranger. Obviously, I'm level 25 now. That's like six hours worth of play without being on a Saturday. Um, and it's... If you main Boom Ranger, I forgot how buggy it got after, after Shadow Towers came out. It used to not be like this. Um, it used to be very, very good. Like, there was no bugs with the Boom Ranger at all. He was so... He was so fun to play. But after Shadow Towers came out, I don't think it was the first patch, but it was the second patch, like, kind of adjusting Shadow Towers when they first came out with, like, the whole power ranking system and all that. I think that's when it was. They bugged the boomerang. And the boomerang sucks. <laughs> like, 90%, well, not 90%, like, 40% of the time, it doesn't even work. Like, look, I just used it. I didn't move a single step. Meaning, it can't go anywhere. I have to catch it if it comes straight back to me. But it doesn't because it's bugged. And look, I just did it again. <laughs> I, I'm not getting the cooldown from my boomerang. And it's it's just so annoying. I hate it so bad. It, like, I can't even imagine maining the boomeranger anymore. He's an amazing class. He's one of the strongest classes right now for Shadow Towers. Um, and he's just... I got a feel for the people that are playing him. I mean, even with this bug, he's still very powerful. But it's a bug. It shouldn't exist. So... Yeah, I just wanted to mention that because maybe, I mean, it's partly because of lag, and to be able to fix it, just like with all other classes, you have to fix the lag in the game, which will never be fixed because the devs do not care <laughs> about their server lag. Um, that has been very apparent. Uh, they do mention little by little, like, hey, we fixed a little bit of lag here, hey, we fixed a little bit, bit of lag there, but trust me, it's been years um, since the game has offered its servers and they have not been fixed at all i can tell you that for a fact um so the the class is just gonna stay bugged i guess until the servers get fixed but it's not also like 100 percent of servers because like i said before it wasn't even like this it was probably like four or five months ago that it got bugged out and they said they fixed it but they never did obviously because it just happened again <laughs> like it's worked once in the six times or so that i've used it so far um so please, guys, please, let's just get this fixed. This is literally game-breaking for a class. It makes one of the most fun classes to play feel like crap. Like, honestly, it makes me not want to play this class at all because your entire class is based off of cooldowns, 
And the way you fix that is by catching your boomerang, which is supposed to be the mechanic in itself. Like, you're supposed to catch the boomerang, which is a pretty bad mechanic in itself. You're asking a melee character to not move at all, like, just sit still, which makes it very not fun in the first place. But even then, that was, you know, whatever. It's just, it's not a fun mechanic, but the class is still fun to play. But now it's not fun because you use your boomerang and then you're like, oh, well, now I gotta stay here for the next eight seconds waiting for something to come off cooldown so I can do something besides left click. So it's just, yeah. I mean, it's like a Shadow Hunter, but without the damage of a Shadow Hunter after its Clash Gem. It just sucks. <laughs> it sucks to play. I don't like it. Uh, so please, can we get this? Can we get this like fixed? I bet anybody that mains Boomeranger would love it to be fixed, because it's very annoying, uh, and it also completely destroys the DPS of the class because it can't do anything. Um, but yeah, that's a. Uh, that was a little, I guess my little rant for, for the video, or for the day, um, for the Boom Ranger, because honestly, like, I've been leveling up all classes to level 25, and the Boom Ranger has been the worst out of all of them, and he's one of my favorite classes. Like, when people ask who's your favorite class, I'll say Tomb Raider, but then if I say, you know, if I want an active playstyle and not worrying about tanking, I would, Boom Ranger would be my main, because he has the most active playstyle besides the Chloromancer. Um, so yeah, it's just, come on guys. <laughs> It's a fully released game, like, bugs that existed in beta should not exist anymore. It's been, it's been a year since beta has been a thing. <laughs> Almost. It released in July, so we got, like, another month. Um, and then it's been an entire year since those bugs that existed years before that in the first place have not been fixed. So, come on. Let's, let's not be lazy anymore. Let's just, let's just make a great game. <laughs> I know it's easier said than done. But hey, that's that's all I can do. I can only say it. I can't actually fix it because I'm not a developer and I have no idea what it takes to develop a video game. But I can I can complain. <laughs> when you offer stuff for real life money, you you subject yourself to criticism, I guess. Uh, but yeah, like I said, let's get off this rant. <laughs> let's proc my tome and then we should we can be done. Um, since I haven't been keeping track of these Let's Play episodes, I used to go over the 10 minutes like crazy back when I was consistently doing Let's Plays. But now that I'm not keeping track, I feel like I'm not doing anything and I end the video quicker than I like to. I usually keep them to about 10 to 15 minutes long, and they've only been like 6, so I think getting to the Tomes proc will be a good, a good calling point for the video. Um, so... Like I said, this should be episode like 98 or something, so episode 100 is coming up quickly. Uh, I'm pacing it out perfectly, it's not like I'm gonna mess up episode 100. Trust me, it's nothing special at all. Like, it's not gonna do anything, it's not gonna be an amazing episode or anything like that. It's probably gonna be boring, just like the rest of them. But, uh, I did want something to do on episode 100, uh, so that's what I'm... I mean, you, can, you already know what's gonna happen if... If you've been following along. Um, so that's what I've been working for. That should happen... I mean, at most on Sun or Saturday. Uh, so... T today, I'm recording this on Tuesday. But it's not going to release on Tuesday. So this is going to release on Thursday, I believe. Because um, tomorrow is Wednesday. And that's when the patch is going out this week. So this will release Thursday. Then Friday, I will do my news video. And then, yeah, Saturday, I can do episode 100. So there we go. That kind of perfectly lines up. That means no guide this week, which I'm sorry, but the more time I don't do guides, the more time I have to spend on them, right? So I guess, I mean, after after level 25, all classes I have nothing else to do in the first place, so it doesn't matter. Everything after that will be a guide, uh, besides patch notes and news. And marketplace flipping, I did spend an hour. Actually, I spent actually a little bit more than an hour. I spent like two to three hours flipping today. And I encountered another failed market, like, uh, like the theme has been going. So, waiting for that to sell, I spent more than an hour today so I can hopefully uh, get rid of it all. So I actually flipped for like three hours straight, um, but just nobody wants to purchase the item that I'm flipping right now. So that will be mentioned in the video, like, you know, like always. Uh, once, by the way, just to answer any questions, once I'm done, I only have a few common items left to flip. Once I'm done with all of them... Like, last video, I went through three to four items. I think it was four items in one video. So it's not going to take too many more videos. Like, one or two more videos that I'm done. Uh, I will be going back to all of the markets that did work. And I'm going to retry them. Because some of them were, like, six months ago that I was like, Hey, this this market is amazing. Like, Radiant Shards, I made, I think, 40k 
uh, from 100k, like I made 40k in an hour just with 100k, which is very, which is a lot because 100k is a little bit amount of flux when it comes to uh, manipulating. That is the entry point. That is the bare minimum that I suggest manipulating. Um, so I'm gonna go back, you know, try range shards. I'm gonna go back to shapestone, primordial flames. Um, what else works? <laughs> not too many markets work out when it comes to the common items because not many people need those anymore. Um, besides the ones I just mentioned, like shapestone, primordial flames, and Radiant Shards, those will always be needed. Um, I'm trying to think about what else worked. Um, Steed Feed worked, but that was that was just the other day, so I don't know if I have to go back and redo that one. I probably will, because obviously the more time between the episodes, the longer it's going to be between uh, when I last flipped it. I kind of want to retry some markets, but then again, I don't, because if I retry a market, then that means I'm stuck in a market again. So I don't know, like Infinium, some people said they had a good time with Infinium. Uh, but I don't really want, I mean, I kind of want to go back and try it, but then I don't because I, sure, you can make flux if you, if you're, like, f flipping over the course of a day, but remember, this is supposed to be only worth an hour, so if it, not a single stack sells within an hour, then I'm not going to say it's a good market because then you can't make flux within an hour, which is what I have to go by, so that's kind of not going to work out, I think, so I'll just go back to the, the, good markets. I'm also going to try out some uncommon items, but that you buy in bulk. So not like mounts or stuff like that, but more uncommon items like, um, I could have done dragon souls before, or dragon, yeah, dragon souls and dragon coins, but those became untradeable and non-existent. <laughs> um, so I can't do those, but I'll do things like Trove of Wonders, or not Trove of Wonders, uh, Fragments of Wonder, and stuff like that. That's what I mean when I say uncommon items that you buy in bulk because <laughs> you do buy fragments of wonder in bulk i don't expect a lot of people want to buy fragments of wonder so that's obviously going to be uh the conclusion from that video is if they actually sell within an hour or not uh, so hopefully i don't get stuck in a rut with those because those are very expensive um but i'll try them out because hey they could sell like hot cakes over the course of an hour i don't know that i haven't tried them yet um so we'll be doing stuff like that probably after I go back and do the common items that worked. So that way, once I'm done with the uncommon items, I can go back again to the, the markets that worked and flip those again because I have to hit a million flux and I'm running out of markets that I haven't done before. I've already done every single mount, every single ally, or I've done mounts, allies, I've done all the flipping, you know, dragon souls, uh, sales, everything. So we're doing manipulating right now. We're going to do manipulating all the way to 100,000, or 1 million flux, I mean. Um, so it just basically comes down. The only things you can manipulate are items that you buy in bulk. So it's not like I can manipulate mounts. <laughs> that's not something that's possible. I can't manipulate crafting things. Like, crafting is not a very good way to make flux off the market. That's That counts in the flipping section, which if you watch my marketplace guide, was the beginning section where you do from 10k to 100k. After you hit 100k, you don't have to worry about flipping as much because it's not as profitable. Um, so since I'm still talking, we're just finished up on this one. I think I don't think this is a boss right here, uh, especially since he spawns below this dungeon. <laughs> I think there's just a random mob, which by the way, they said they're going to hopefully buff the amount of XP you get from these guys because they do take a little bit longer to kill than a normal mob, and they only give normal mob experience. As you can see, it only gave me 136, which doesn't correlate to how much effort it takes to kill it. Um, I would expect them to do kind of like uh, half and half, like do half of a one-star dungeon, but half, like in between a one-star dungeon and a normal mob kill. Because you gotta remember, you don't have to actually go through a dungeon to kill that mob. You can find that mob in the middle of the world. So it doesn't take as much effort as a dungeon, even a one-star dungeon, but it takes a little bit more effort than a normal mob, so hopefully that'll work out. Uh, hopefully they'll do the right thing and balance it out. Um, cause then we'll end up just running around the entire world killing those guys only <laughs> if dungeons aren't worth doing anymore. Which I hope is not the case. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it. Hopefully I didn't drop too many subjects. I did talk about quite a lot because I did drag on this video for as long as I could. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully uh, you guys got some info on some future videos. And if you liked it, give the video a like. And I'll see you guys next time.